Hi everyone, welcome to the Express Channel where we keep it real. Now I have some good news to share with you today. Do you know what happened on the 22nd of August? The UK brought out a new visa. The beautiful thing about it is that you can stay in the UK after your first six months without requiring any further sponsorship with this visa. Wow, this is really good news. And if you stay with us, I'm going to tell you how you can use this visa to your benefit and how it can work for you. Now, if you're new to this channel, I would advise you click the subscribe button, also the notification button, so that when information like this comes up, you will be the among the lucky ones to be notified. Thank you for being with us and stay tuned while we talk about this. Guys, we're going to be talking about the scale-up visa. And so we're going to talk about what is scale-up visa. We're going to talk about what are the requirements, people eligible for it, the documents needed to apply, the costs, the benefits, and also how one can extend this visa, okay? So first, what's a scale-up visa? So scale-up visa is a visa that the UK brought up for growing businesses. Now, these businesses are the ones that have like 20% increase annually every year. And at least they have the minimum of 10 employee, yes, employees. Sorry. So UK brought up these visas so that they can attract high-skilled workers like you and I from different countries to come to the UK. So while it's benefiting them, mm -hmm. it's also for our own benefit. Yeah, how do you well qualify well for the scale-up visa? So first, you must have had a job offer to work for an approved scale-up business for at least six months. So the job offer must be from a scale-up business. I'm going to be dropping the link in the um, description where you will see um, the eligible jobs and also the companies that are eligible and qualified to give up the scale-up visa. All you need to do is to go through it and see if your job meets this requirements, then go to this company and do your applications, all right? Now, also, you must have a certificate of sponsorship from your employer with information about the role you have been offered in the UK. Just like I said, you must at least know what you are doing in the UK, the job you have to do. So most of the times jobs like architects scientists engineers programmers software developers economics um technicians financial and investment advisors research and development professionals different professionals so these are the kind of people that this job actually uh, these are the type of job sorry that are available for this scale of visa and so many more so much more so all you just need to do is to just Go through the link I'm going to drop in the description and then go um, search on it and you will get um, to see if you qualify for it. And if you do, do as much as you do much as much as you can to apply for it and it will be beneficial for you. All right. Also, before I forget, you must also be paid a minimum salary in your new job so the minimum salary that they are talking about is thirty three thousand pounds per year so that should be the amount of money that your um your um, the job is going to offer you before your job will be able to qualify for the scale up visa because if you're not getting as much as that money then i'm sorry you won't be able to your the job won't be able to um qualify so you must have as be paid as much as thirty three thousand pounds in a year okay and obvious so many jobs can offer that so that shouldn't be much of a big problem for you to get that all right okay that could be like um 10.10 .10 per hour 
you understand or and also the going rate of the type of work you'll be doing so it's more of like um let's say you know different job with different going rates so all you need to do is to go through the link i'm also going to draw for you to go and say okay how much is this going rate and then you'll be able to say okay this is the going rate for my job and you'll be able to apply for the job and you qualify for the scale up visa next is the documents needed to apply so the documents needed to apply first is your certificate of sponsorship we've spoken a lot about that then also your proof of english so you're going to be needing like an ielts for countries that um, is not known as an english speaking country and ielts with a minimum of 4.5 you should target a minimum of 4.5 in your ielts you know um most especially like you should go for the uk vi ielts because this is needed for visa process then you all for countries like jamaica also um there's these countries are not do, do not require to have like an english um an english um what's the name do, they don't require um english knowledge of english because all these countries are known to be english speaking okay then you can also use a naric proof of english as well naric proof of english for people that did like a bsc program or people that did um, a master's program all you just need to do is to show your doc that show your proof of trading and get a navic um certificate i'm going also to be dropping the link in the description for how you can access navic and you will be able to be properly guided all right and then your job title and the annual salary which i've talked about already your job occupation code um the name of your employer and all this actually is going to be on your certificate of sponsorship and next you should also have approve of fund especially for those that are coming from out of the uk you need the proof of fund and um, this is because you need they need to be sure that you can take care of yourself at least a thousand two hundred and fifty pounds should be in your account for a minimum of three months now if you know about visa process you know this is standard unless your company has indicated on your cos that they are going to be the one to provide for your funds then that will be okay but if not you need that and the good thing about the scale up visa as well is that you can bring your partner on it so for those accents can i bring my partner on this visa yes you can bring your partner it's just that when you come and remember you're going to be paying for health subcharge so if you're paying for health subcharge on one person if it's two people you have to pay for help subcharge on yourself and your partner and if you have children you are going to also pay for health subcharge on them but all the same if you know you're financially capable of paying for all that that's fine but if not we we'll always advise you come in first when you're much settled then you file for visa for them to come in all right so you also need um a so you also need yeah a tb test certificate so these are just basic visa requirements anyway in addition to your cos and the order that i have originally mentioned for those waiting for this next question which is what is the cost so we're talking about 715 pounds for your application fee then also you pay health subs charge and then also your 1,270 pounds which is just a proof of fund this you are not paying to anyone it's just a proof of fund that should be in your account for a minimum of three months and you must have a proof of you're having an annual income of monthly income coming to your account as well this is just so that you could we know that at least you have something to fed for yourself at least in your first stage of why being in the uk all right so you won't um you won't um what's the name you won't just be um without a proof or um, a phone to help yourself now um extending your visa some people will be like okay so after staying in the six months so the one thing about this visa is after your first six months in the uk you don't necessarily need to still stay with your current employer that brought you to the uk so let me break this down so normally this visa lasts for um 
for two years okay it's a visa that lasts for two years and you can decide to extend the visa after two years so once you have stayed in the uk for up to five years you should be eligible to apply for um an ilr or your or your what is called the permanent residency and probably after then you can apply for the british citizenship so you can say this is a very good visa okay so um after your first two years of staying you can decide to apply to stay for more you understand you can decide to extend your visa again now the thing about it is that you must at least still be in that average earning that you were in in your previous scale of visa so when you came in they said you must have like 33,000 that you must get annually so if you are deciding to extend your visa you must still be earning 30 up to that minimum amount of 33 per year okay there shouldn't be a drop in your earning it's coming higher but it shouldn't be lower all right so having the two year scale of visa you can still extend it and by the time you've extended and stay up to five years you can then um, apply for permanent residency but there might be um some um things you might need to apply but by then the uk would have made it much known but for now one thing we know is you can extend your visa and stay in five years and the law says when you've stayed up to five years you can apply for your ilr now let's talk about within your first two years in the uk so probably you come to the uk now and you don't feel comfortable in the job you are doing and you feel um not too happy so after your first six months you can decide to leave your employer yes you can you can decide to leave your employer and you don't need a further cos so you can decide to get a job not requiring their cos needing another cos you understand but remember that whatever thing you're doing you should ensure that you are not still earning below the thirty three thousand pounds in a year so you can see with this visa you can be able to do as much as possible unlike the tier two visa whereby if you have after the first three years or the first um, four years depending on your contract you will still need another cos let's say you want to change or uh, um that's the work visa you want to change employee you must still get another employee that will give you a cos to guarantee your stay in the uk this one you don't need it after your first six months you can decide to say I'm not doing any more with this employer and you are still eligible to stay in the UK till two years before you want to, if you still want to remain, you can apply for an extension or if not, you can decide to go back All your choice. So you can still browse more because I'm going to drop the link to learn so much about this. I'm so happy about this visa and i think if you feel that there are people that will benefit from this i will kindly advise you share it among your friends and your colleagues that will be benefit that this will be beneficial for thank you for listening and see you next time in the other video don't forget to subscribe and share